Aquabo. Welcome back to Dan S channel, guys. Happy holidays again. You are looking at the lovely Elaine, owner of Oneness Jamaican Restaurant. Oneness Restaurant, your finest Jamaican cuisine, right here in Osu, Ghana. Elaine. Hi. Thank you. Thank you for coming, Diane. I appreciate thank you. it. I thank you for agreeing to this one-on-one. I'm humbled. One -on -one. I'm humbled. <laughs> <laughs> ah, no, I said I'm, I'm humbled <laughs> that you um, accepted, yeah. right? Just like that. Now, Elaine, before we get into the meat and potatoes, mm -hmm. um, I called you yes, yesterday, you did. right? You did. Absolutely. And um, you, in fact, said to me that you did not even know that Rastaman bills was actually at your place. Tell us a little bit about that. Uh, so he came in and he came to the bar. I was inside and he said, man, this place is looking nice, he says. He said, I thought it was a set up for a wedding function. But when the young girl said to me, have a seat, he go, man, having a seat? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So he was, he, he was surprised to know that it's here. Mm -hmm. It's this classy, he says. Mm -hmm. And people come in and dine. That comfortable setting. But you also mentioned that you did not know that he was actually videoing this piece. No, I had absolutely no idea that he was videoing until a friend of mine from Jamaica sent me a clip in and said, I've seen this on Instagram. And I clicked on it only to know that he was just here like half and half an hour or an hour ago. And I said, But he was just here. How I didn't know he was doing this. And so I, I, I heard from Jamaica. Look at that, right? Yeah. You heard from Jamaica. Yes. About your place. Yes. Being, being on Instagram. Being on Instagram. Right? And I heard from a friend of mine out in the global space, not in Jamaica, even though she's Jamaican, mm -hmm. sent me that same Instagram post. Yeah. And here I am in front of you. Yes, That's the you. power of social media. It is indeed, right? absolutely. There you go. And I tell you guys, that's why yes. I'm doing what I'm doing. Thank you, you just never know. Thank you. Elaine, where were you born? I was born in Spanish Town, Jamaica. And I was brought up in St. Elizabeth. Do you remember the year you left Jamaica? Uh, 1985. Ah, where did you go? I went to the UK. Ah. Oh, UK. And I've been living in the UK since then. That's 38, 30 something years. 30. 37, 38. 37 plus years. Yeah. Wow. That's yeah. some serious yeah. sentence there. Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> yes. <laughs> How did you choose destination Ghana? Uh, well, a friend introduced me to a friend. Mm -hmm. And I came here, I think, eight. February 2022, I spent seven days. That's the first time into Ghana. First time into Ghana. Spent seven days. I liked it from the very first day I came. I traveled around like a tourist. I went to, went to many places. I liked the place. I liked the fact that I was in the bigger version of Jamaica. Yes, yes. And um, it's just Jamaica on a larger scale. Correct. And I came back three months later and I spent eight days. Okay, so second visit? Second visit was three months later. I spent eight days. My third visit was the same year. Um, and that was in the November. And I spent about four weeks. And, um, and I came back in August this year. So in 2022, you made three visits to Ghana. Yes, I did. And you, stayed, you spent a total of uh, four plus months. Weeks. Wasn't it three months? You said when you came the second time or three weeks? No, what I, you said? no it took me three months to come back. Oh, sorry, so sorry. I spent a total of six weeks. A total of six weeks yeah. on three visits to and Ghana visits, back yeah. in 2022. Yeah. So tell me something, Madame Elaine, when did you come back to Ghana full time? I came back to Ghana on the 23rd of August this year. Wait, wait a minute. You just reached? Just full reach, time. Just reach full time. So I'm it, fresh. 
the mosquito loves hey, me. <laughs> so it leads me into this, Elaine. How did you come across this space? So um, I came here. I'm an entrepreneurial person. And I just knew that I need to open a restaurant here. So I had a restaurant in England for seven years. Okay. Um, I break glass ceiling. I'm a, I'm a kind of woman who likes to break glass ceiling. So I live in Cambridge, and Cambridge is a 95% white. So when I opened a restaurant in Cambridge, it was the first black restaurant to be ever opened in, in, in that city. And it was a novelty. The, the MP of Cambridge, the mayor, and every newspaper, everybody came to open this new venture in Cambridge. Then I became a nurse after. I ran it for seven years, and then I became a nurse. And um, still a nurse. I take a lengthy leave to come here to open business. But, what, but let me get to how I get to this point anyway. So I went on to a thing called Gigi.com and decided to look for realtor, these people. And I found a quite a few. And then I got talking to this guy, and I asked him to find me a property. Um, but before I get to that point, I met the manager of Frankie Hotel on my last visit, and I asked him, how can I open a restaurant? And he said, just rent a house. I said, it doesn't have to be a business place. He says, no, just rent a house anywhere you want to just rent a house. Wait a minute. Pause. You were told yeah, that you could rent a residential mm -hmm dwelling yeah. and convert that into a business yeah. establishment. And I said, what about these licenses and these things that I'm used to in the UK? You know, all these red tapes I'm used to in the UK? None. Ghana is open, guys. Come on over. So, None. so Elaine, where we are here, mm -hmm. it was a home, it was, a house. It was a house, yeah. How many bedrooms? Four bedrooms. And... Uh, kitchen and a lounge and you did all of this and i did all of this so i arrived on the 23rd of august i've, I've never that was and i didn't see the place until the 25th so you saw this place two days after arrival uh, two days after arrival yes and that was the first time i've seen what i've rented so the realtor take me through everything we did all the paperwork uh, we signed an agreement I paid one year rent up mm -hmm. front because this is the way Ghana does things. You have to have a, a year rent. So let people, you need a, a year rent. <laughs> um, so however, and I'm here. So you did massive renovation. I mean, massive renovation. So this, um, what do you call it? I put this up when I came. Um, and just massive reservation. Elaine, my mouth is open, as you can see. Guys, my mouth is open because, yeah. Elaine, you occupied this space uh, two days mm -hmm. after arriving in Ghana in August. Yeah. So that's the 20, yeah. 25th you, you, you yeah. occupied. Yeah. Uh, you did massive reserva renovation. Mm -hmm. yes. When did you open the restaurant for business? So I opened the restaurant for business on the 1st of November. 25th of August to September, one month, to October, two months. Two months. You did all yeah. the reservations. All the, all the you reservations. recreated this space recreated in all under the, three months. Under three months. It wow. Took literally two months to do all this. Yeah. And was open to the public in two months. I need to close my mouth and, and, and not stall this vlog. Mm -hmm. I'm, you, you, I'm, I'm wooed. Yes. You have surprised me on that. Yes. Uh, guys, we're doing another vlog right after we the uh, kitchen. Mm -hmm. Because yes. guess who is the chef in here? <laughs> you are the chef? Uh, no other than Elaine. Elaine is the chef. And she wants us to see her kitchen. So that's going to be the next vlog coming up. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Elaine, uh, tell me more about the restaurant. So the restaurant here is uh, a baby. How has it been? It's, in, it's, in, it's, in, it's in, it very much in its infancy. Mm -hmm. um, and so when I opened, on the night I've got 
friends of friends that turn up for the opening. But as a business person, and I say I'm a business person because I did an MBA. I graduated, listen guys, I graduated at the age of 60 with an MBA distinction. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you can do it. Anyway, mm -hmm. so my background, my training, my university degree and everything helped me to understand, okay, so those were friends of friends. So I now need to market the place. So what I'm doing now is like slowly marketing the place, marketing the business. And what I really want is gradual growth. And gradual growth will help me to give quality because if the growth is too fast, the quality may not be there. And to focus on quality and what the authenticity of the food, the gradual growth is very good for me. And this is what I'm getting at the moment, gradual growth, lots of word of mouth. And I must give a lady shout out to a lady called Dr. Gwen, who was my first customer after opening. She went away, put it on her space, her social media space, and that was it. Big up, Dr. Gwen, big up, and, and this is what that, we do. And that was it. And that was her first week from America into Ghana. She's Jamaican-American, and that was her first visit. Mm -hmm. And she came, and that was it. It just hit off from there. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Tell us a little bit about the menu. So on the menu, I've got, and as a starter, I've got ake, I've got um, escovish fillet of fish, I've got things for vegetarian, like avocado salad, um, Greek salad, and what else do I have on there as a starter? Yeah, I've got um, barbecue wings, fried dumplings. Then if we go on into the main course, I've got curry goat, I've got oxtail, I've got fish, more fish, I've got prawns. Um, I've got many other things. I don't have the menu in front of me. It's rather, but, it's, but, it's extensive, you know, I, it's not. You have a variety of Yes, I have. Yeah. Food options. Mm -hmm. I have jerk chicken, it. jerk pork, everything mm -hmm. is here. And you do all the cooking? I've done, I, w I do all the cooking. Mm -hmm. I can't trust anyone just yet. <laughs> so, um, training, training, that, you know, you just, you just train. But um, any plans for the uh, for the season, Christmas? Any plans, anything special going on? <laughs> this is your time. Shout it out, advertise it. I want a it. chef. You I want, want a chef. chef. I want mm -hmm. a Jamaican chef. You want a Jamaican chef? I want chef with the fundamental. fundamental. I will do the rest of training. Mm -hmm. All right. You, you, you think you're going to get some um, salt mackerel on there so I can go and get some rondon and some fried oh, bami? You, you salt mackerel? <laughs> I love salt oh, mackerel, yeah. Elena. I'm a rondon mm -hmm. lady. But I think that's fantastic, right? And uh, you, you have uh, some words of encouragement for our ladies, that's mm -hmm. 50 and over, 60 and over. Roll that in now, those mm -hmm. persons, if they are in that age range, who may be out in the global space mm -hmm. and uh, they really want to make a move. You know, they want to leave where they are and they, they have been looking on the YouTube channel and they're thinking about Ghana or they want to know if it's possible. Mm -hmm. What would you say to that uh, female? Guys, I'm here to encourage you, right? I am 60. Two years old looking fabulous and, and i'm telling you you can come into ghana if you want to transition to somewhere new and you can find i'm sure die here will help you around <laughs> <laughs> so i'm telling you if you want just come into ghana even for a short visit feel around have a look around and if, if you're from jamaica you will only find that it's a bigger version of jamaica nothing more no violence people are humble they will take care of you um come on in don't worry about your age don't worry about your age it's nothing yes just come we're women we can do it i'm here single-handedly doing this business on my own wow so come on in if you want to get some advice go through die boy um um I'm encouraged but just by listening to you. Don't be afraid to step out in the deep. Don't be afraid. Fear will destroy you. Fear will destroy you. Be a risk taker. Weigh the risk mm -hmm. and take the risk. And that's what I did. I weigh my risks and I took that risk. And it's paying off. 
Wonderful. Elaine, you're going to see much more of me here. Um, uh, in closing, how did you decide on OSU? Um, when I went to Oxford Street on visit, I realized Oxford Street also is a hip strip. Do you like hip strip area? <laughs> this is the hip strip area mm -hmm. of, uh, of Accra. And I did my research. I literally did a research. I wrote a business plan. I did a research. And I realized business, hip strip, this is the place. And, um, and my research took me here. Well, what I will say for Osu through my eyes, it reminds me, parts of it, a little bit, like Manhattan. Yeah. And I loved Manhattan in New York City. Yeah. In London, parts of it reminds me of Soho. Yes. It reminds me of Piccadilly. Those were two of my stomping grounds, and I liked it. And so if you're from it's the good. UK, Oxford Street in Usu is like Oxford Street in England. <laughs> on point, yes. on point. Mm. Elaine, yeah. lovely having you. Thank you for coming. Guys, I trust you enjoyed yeah. this one on one. Mm -hmm. Elaine, powerful woman. She has accomplished a lot in less than three months with this restaurant. Yeah. And I ask you, please share, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. The kitchen share, is coming like, up. Share, like, <laughs> subscribe, <laughs> hit the notification bell. <laughs> Thank you. Merase. Yeah. God bless.